Okay guys, this is the Mecha webcam. It's currently crowdfunding on Indiegogo, so you can go ahead and back it to get a early price deal. This is a three-in-one webcam, and I'm pretty excited to showcase to you guys the capabilities of this. Now, by first looking at this, you'll realize that this doesn't actually look like a webcam, and there's a reason why. This is actually a large studio light, and there's a button on here on the left to change the light to three different colors. It can go to warm white, natural white, and cool white. On the fourth press, it turns off. The top right, you can turn the microphone that's inbuilt into this on and off as well if you wanted to use this as a mic. And the third thing is obviously the webcam and you're probably wondering where that is. And that's right here at the bottom and it pulls out. I'll showcase in a second how to use this, how it functions and how it looks when you're on a remote video call. Just to quickly show you what else is in the box, you get yourself the quick start guide with the user manual to get you up and running. You also have a USB to USB-C adapter in case you have maybe a MacBook Pro or a laptop that only has USB-C ports, then you can use that to connect with the USB cable at the end of the webcam. And it's literally plug and play, no adapters required. Last but not least, you have 10 little circle sticky pads, double-sided. This is going to be to connect the webcam to your actual laptop or monitor screen in case you can't get it to stick by itself or using the magnet. I'm gonna talk about this in a second, but let me dive in to setting up this webcam and show you how it actually works. Okay, so you have a very strong clip at the back here and you just click this onto the monitor screen. There we go. And now I'm just going to plug this into my laptop and now I will be ready to use this. So the power is feeding in directly from the USB. So let me show you the lights. This is the cool white. Then you have the warm white, which is more of a yellow glow. And then you have a natural white, which is a balance halfway between both of the previous ones. The fourth time you press it, it turns off. The webcam itself is a pull webcam that sits on a string. And this is a two megapixel, 1080p, 30 frame per second webcam. It's not the strongest, so it's not a 4K webcam or anything like that. But nonetheless, it should do a good enough job. And then at the back of this, this is where I was showing you those little circular sticky pads. If you have trouble connecting this to your monitor or your laptop screen, then you can stick one of those pads here and then it will be in place for as long as you need to. And then you can very easily remove it, but you'll also have to remove any smudge marks on your screen. So to connect this, I would just clip the light on there I will turn the light on. I prefer a warm light. And I will actually pull this down to the middle of the screen. If you struggle to have it connect, this will shoot back up and it won't connect and it will swing. So you can either do one of two things. You can use those sticky pads to really connect it to the screen, but I generally like to avoid using anything sticky on my screens. The preferred option is using a magnet. So on the right hand side of the webcam, you have this pull out magnet, which is pretty strong. This will sit behind your laptop screen and I'll showcase how this works. So I'll connect this back on there. I'll just turn the light off for a second. You pull the camera out again and then you connect this magnet to the back of your laptop in the position of where you would like the webcam to sit. And there you go, it is a very strong magnet. So if I move this around the screen, it will also move the magnet to the back of the laptop screen. Let me just show you what it looks like on the back as well. Okay, so now you can see the magnet at the back. If I reposition this, make it lower down, you'll see it works pretty well. But if you take a look, if I move just the camera, the magnet is strong enough to move along with it. So you can really reposition it accordingly to your eye level. Most of the people that would be buying something like this would suit people that generally need to have eye to eye contact with all of the people on their video calls. And I think it makes a big difference, especially if you do things like job interviews, this is going to be very handy. And it allows you to really keep staring at the people that you're talking to, whilst meanwhile having maybe some documents around with some notes to cover all of your talking points. So now let's go ahead and open a Zoom call and test out 
the video quality, the audio quality, and with the light on and off, and see how it overall performs. All right, guys, so let's test this out and do a comparison with the inbuilt camera and microphone of my MacBook Pro compared to the Mecca webcam. So right now, this is the FaceTime HD cam on my Apple MacBook Pro. It's pretty blurry. I have closed the shutters a little bit just so that it's a little bit darker, so it's not super bright. And I wanted to showcase to you guys the difference between switching the video from my inbuilt camera with the Mecca webcam. Let me go ahead and do that now. And I will move the camera to the center. You twist it to make it straight. Make sure you get it aligned. And there we go. The difference with this is I can look directly into the webcam and still see most of the frames on my screen, whether I have notes up on the left or the side. This will be perfect for that. And if I do a job interview and I want to make sure I have eye to eye contact, this is going to be perfect as well, just to make those notes appear on one side of your screen, and it doesn't seem like you're looking all over the place. So there's many different benefits to having a camera like this. Of course, for a lot of people, and I know you guys will comment this, you might not get used to very quickly the wire and the camera being in the middle of the screen because you might have things on the screen that you want to see and read very easily. You might have a PowerPoint presentation that you're presenting and you want that to display fully. So you can also remember that not necessarily the camera has to be in the middle. You can also just as equally move it back to the top and just have it there until you're ready to move it back to the middle. So you're quite flexible with that, which is great. Now, in terms of the video quality, yes, it is a lot better than the inbuilt webcam on my laptop. And I'm pretty confident it's going to be better than pretty much all of the inbuilt webcams in most laptops these days. But it is two megapixel, which is quite a low resolution. So that's one thing to remember, but it is a budget friendly webcam overall. But it's not to say that they will have a 4K version of this webcam out in the near future. So keep an eye out on their website and on their crowdfunding pages. Now let's go ahead and test out the studio light that's on this webcam. So right now it's off. I'll turn this on. And as you can see, it does brighten my face. If you feel like it might be a little bit overexposed, then you can cycle through the different ones. This gives more of a yellow tint. So this is the warm light. And if you are working in the evenings, I always prefer having a warmer white light than a cooler one. But let's take a look at the natural one. This is kind of imitating daylight coming through the windows and it does make it a little bit clearer and a little bit more natural but there is a bit of a yellow haze to it but overall i think studio lights are very key especially when you are working in very darkened rooms just as a comparison i'm going to completely darken out this room here close all my shutters and showcase how much difference this light actually makes so let me turn this off for now okay pitch dark you can't really see anything i would never have a video call like this let's turn on this light and there you go, you can see I'm the core subject that's been brightened up. I'll just cycle through. This is the warm light. And finally, this is the natural light. For me personally, I think the natural light works best. It makes things a little bit clearer and a little bit more realistic and not overexposed. Or the tint of the video is not swaying towards a little bit more yellow. But I would still recommend if you can get more of a natural light source, then that would be the way to go. And for most people, you'd hardly use this studio light inbuilt into this unless it was absolutely necessary and you're working really late at nighttime or you are somewhere where you can't turn the lights on, maybe in a different building, for example. But nonetheless, it is an option for most people. Okay, and the final test I want to do is for the inbuilt microphone. Right now, the microphone is being used by my MacBook Pro and I'm now going to switch it over to the Mecca microphone. Before I do that, I need to turn it on by pressing the microphone button on the top of the unit. You'll see a white light just on the microphone icon at the top right hand side. That will show up in your Zoom or video calling settings. Now the audio that you're hearing is directly coming from the Mecca microphone. I've tested a lot of inbuilt microphones on webcams in the past, and a lot of them have been underwhelming. They've not been great, and I wouldn't recommend any of them. However, with the denoising microphone that's inbuilt into this one, I have to say it's a lot better than pretty much all of the ones that I've tried in the past. 
if I was really in a situation where I have to use the microphone in this because maybe the one on my laptop is not working and I don't have any other external one, then this one will be doing a decent enough job for me to be comfortable to use this on video calls. And of course, this isn't a very high end premium microphone by any means, but it will do a decent enough job if you are on the go and you are looking to get some audio input whereby you don't have a headset, you don't have a working internal laptop microphone. This is going to do a good enough job for everyone on the call to hear you clearly. So hopefully you found that review useful guys. And to be honest, I think they've done a lot of research in terms of what would be working for a certain audience that would require something like this. The fact that you can turn the microphone on and off manually, I don't think I've seen that in any other webcam before. I think having the integrated light, especially one that's as strong as this, would also be very useful for people that work in very low lighting environments. And if you are going to require to keep eye to eye contact, depending on whatever purpose you're having video calls for, then this pull down microphone is quite a nice way to do it. The camera itself extends to a maximum of 20 centimeters. To get it back in, you literally just pull slightly and it springs back in place and it locks just underneath there. And although it is quite a large webcam kit, I think this would suit someone that wants to mount it on top of a monitor and have it there in more of a permanent position rather than a very portable one that you just put on top of your laptop wherever you go. But if you did want to take it with you, then it does come with this nice carry case that you can just put it in and put it in your backpack and really use it wherever you take your laptop. Check out the link in the description below. It's currently crowdfunding on Indiegogo. You can get super early bird pricing for it, but it is starting to ship this month in August, 2022. So keep an eye out for the public release and check out the latest pricing information. Check out all of the latest specifications, customer reviews, everything you can to make a decision on this webcam. But if you guys have any questions about this, then always drop a comment down below. New videos out every week, new gadgets. I review plenty of things like webcams and laptop accessories and so many more. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. And I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.